You're a powerful, loving spiritual being. Grand rising, beautiful kings and queens, and welcome to the Loving Yourself Unconditionally Beyond Abuse podcast. You are a powerful, loving, spiritual being. What do I mean by that? <laughs> the man I dated in 2019 said I was a witch. He called me a witch, right? Yeah, I, I, I have crystals and I do sage and all that other stuff. Um, and, and people have their own labels for what they create. But, you know, I just really believe that I am a powerful, loving, spiritual being. And I'm tapping into and I'm tuned into my divine identity. You know, for so many years, I've lived in that victim identity. I've lived in, in that identity of abuse for 40 years. And so now I've tapped into my spiritual nature you know i know that i yes i'm a human um in this flesh but at the core of it all i really am a spiritual a powerful loving spiritual being right and so he's like you a witch you put a spell on me and i laughed at him and i'm like for one i'm not trying to put a spell on anybody okay i am not trying to convince anybody to love me nobody okay i did that for years i chased after people for years trying to convince them to love me and why would anybody want to put a spell on anybody because then it means that that person really and truly does not love you that, that you have bamboozled you have manipulated you have tricked someone into loving you and you don't want to do that and i just told him i said baby i don't need to put a spell on you i am the spell you know and that's not on no cocky shit. i know the i know now whereas i haven't you know, I know now that I'm a powerful, loving, spiritual being. I'm exuding that energy of love because I set apart my life. I set myself apart. I'm in a loving and deeply committed relationship with the universe. Has nothing to do with a spell or anything. I'm simply living in that Jesus energy, that energy of love. And that's what Jesus energy is all about. It's about walking in love. And that's the same way that people were attracted to Jesus because of Jesus' light, Jesus' love. And when you tap into that all on your own, when you begin to love yourself unconditionally, you tap into that love you tap into the love of God that Jesus energy you know and so you know it's that it's that life-giving but also life altering energy right because when when people came upon Jesus what does it say they were healed right but see even though the Bible says that we have free will right so I can come to you I can love you I can take care of you with that Jesus energy, but it's up to you to pursue that healing. You know, and he told me, of course, you know, he's not ready for a deep relationship. And I understand that. I totally understand that. And I wish you the best and take care. Because, you know, a lot of people think that a deep relationship means, you know, seriousness. And it's not. It's fun. It's playful. Are there serious moments? Absolutely, because we have life that we're dealing with. But that that relationship that I have with God is fun. I joke with God. I play with God. Like I tell God all the time, God, I love you so much that if you were, if you were to come down in a body, a man's body, a man. Remember, I told you I want I want a penis, okay? <laughs> if you were to come down, because I love God so much spiritually, like I, I don't have God with me, but spiritually, right? God is in me. But if God was to show up as a man, of course, we would get to know each other. But I'm telling you, I would love that man like I love God. And, and that's, that's what I did with this man in 2019. So I love every man that I meet in the same way that I love God. The same way. 
And that's why he was like, you put a spell on me. No, I'm just loving you. That's all. <laughs> you know, like, that's all it was. Like, I'm, I'm taking care of you. You know, like, this is what I do because I do it for myself. It's not a spell. It's just love, you know? And, um, you know, that energy really does speak for itself. Like, I never have to tell people that, yes, I, I tell people here on the podcast, I say it in my videos that I do for TikTok, but people gravitate to me. And, and a lot of people, like, I'll just start talking to them. Like, one time I was at the bank and the lady was like, "I, you have to be a Christian. And, you know, I, I told her, like, I don't really feed into the religion thing because I don't believe that Jesus was a Christian. Jesus came here as a vessel of love. Jesus show love and show people how they too can be loved and they can heal themselves you know like we're not waiting on somebody you know like jesus would tell people like they they would say jesus 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 can you heal me and jesus would say you gotta believe and then pick up your mat and walk you gotta believe though you gotta believe that you are already healed and then you gotta pick up your mat you gotta pick up your mat and walk it's on you you know, he was just that loving energy coming through. And what, it, what did it do? It shook up things. And that's who you are. That's who we all are. But you got to tap into that energy. You know, and, and I don't argue about religion. Believe what you want to believe. You know, I don't argue with anybody. I know my, from my own personal experience. You know, and I simply love God the way that I, I would love a man. You know. The way that I'm going, that the way that I love my children, and the way that I love everybody that I encounter. You know, I had told my neighbor that. You know, when I check on my neighbor, he's like, "Oh, thank you for checking on me." I'm like, you know what? I haven't always been good at loving my neighbor as I love myself. You know, so I'm gonna make sure that I check up on you. You know, and even if they don't like me, you know, that has nothing to do with me because I was commissioned to. Not to owe any man but anything but to love him. And, and the most amazing and beautiful thing about love, because I'm doing it every day with God, is that you can love people from a distance. And when they cross your mind, when those, when those memories cross your mind, or you see their face in a dream, or all of a sudden you see their face, it don't mean that you have to necessarily reach out to them. You can simply send love and light to their hearts and wish them the best. You know, especially the people who have wronged you. Because it is totally your decision whether or not you want them to have access to your life again. It's, it's not a guarantee that they have to. You know, especially if you forgave them. It's, there's no hard feelings. You know, that's how I am with everybody. There's no hard feelings. For anybody who cheated on me, who lied on me, who stole from me who betrayed me, who used me, who, who manipulated me, I have no hard feelings, none, none, none at all. Because when you hold on to that, there's a song that I was listening to today, you know, like, you know, it's like forgiveness is it's not about putting somebody else in a prison. When you forgive people, it forgi it frees you from your prison. You know, I made a video today for TikTok and I was like, you know, let them people who hold grudges towards you, who hateful towards you, let them be that. Because the majority of them are mad at their damn selves for how they treated you. It has nothing to do with you. They holding a grudge against you, but it's really against themselves. So really, they sitting in a pot of unforgiveness when you done already forgave them, but they still sit in a pot of unforgiveness and really dying because they're, they're, they're holding a grudge and hating you, hoping that you gonna die when they really drinking that on, they po that's poison. Unforgiveness is poison to your mind, to your system. And people wonder why they're unhappy. Because you hold grudges, because you bitter, because you unforgiving. You're not forgiving people. Like, let that shit go. It holds you back. 
I know I would not be in the space that I'm in today if I have not had not forgive, forgiven them people. And what I had to do is give it to God. I had to give the man in 2015 to God the other day. Because I was like, if he was to show up, I don't want, I don't want him back. I don't. No matter how much I loved him, I don't want him back. I want to go forward with my life. Now, I, I did believe that he was my, you know, that he, that we were so connected. So if, if that is the truth, then the universe will, will settle. It'll be settled, you know, but that doesn't mean that I have to take him back into my life, you know, because I don't have any hard feelings towards him either. You know, that me loving him as deeply as I did, allowing myself to feel when I had not felt because I was masking all my pain, it changed my life. It changed my life and it sent me back to God. So I have nothing but gratitude for him. Thank you. I thank you for that rejection. I thank you. Because it taught me how to love God deeper. So, you know. Um, and, and, and God's love you know, and 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 I know that I've been placed on this journey and sharing my story and letting people see how I love God to show people that there's God's love is not based upon a set of rules. God's love is about loving everything about yourself authentically, everything, pain, shame, trauma. Loving all that stuff that you've gone through, your past, forgiving those who have wronged you, and then reprogramming your mind to learn how to listen to your soul and spirit more than you listen to the outside voices, more than you, you believe in the words that you read in books. It's about having that deep intimate relationship with God and spirit and knowing that what God says that's not for you okay it's not for me when God tells you to let it go and walk away you let it go and walk away yes people are placed in our lives as guides I'm a guide but we already possess the power we need within we never have to look outside of ourselves for anything. Not love, not happiness, not peace, not fulfillment, not satisfaction. When you tap in to the love that you have within yourself, you tap into God's love. And that alone fulfills you. You don't need more. If you have more, then the more is for you to bless somebody else. The more is for you to give it away. It's not for you to hoard, buy all these expensive things and, and to show off. It's about you fulfilling your soul and stepping out into your authentic nature, your authentic self. You know, people, because people will tell you, this not, that's not how you love God. Well, this is how I love God, and God loves me, and it shows on my life. Because God accepts me as I am. But the most beautiful thing about loving God is that God does not force you to change. When you start deeply loving God, you want to change. You want to change your ways. You want to love more. You want to let go of habits. You want to let go of addictions. You want to let go of old mindsets, old ideas. You start to love everybody, no matter how they treat you. Because you know that you are so anchored in God that people who treat you badly, try to hurt you, they only end up hurting themselves. We are a reflection. We are a reflection of each other. So I'm going to continue to love you. You can continue to hate me and try to hurt me, but it's only going to boomerang onto you because I love God so deeply that God is forever protecting me 
forever. And the same thing goes for me. I can't, I can't sit up here and try to hurt somebody who's deeply connected to God either. Because God is going to check me. And when you listen to your spirit, your spirit checks you. Nobody got to check you. You don't have to check nobody. God already going to check you. Your spirit already going to check you. No, it's your birthright to be a powerful, loving, spiritual being. That's your birthright. That's what you came here to be. But cultural conditioning and familial conditioning and society's conditioning taught us differently. Taught us to depend on other people. To be codependent. And not interdependent with each other. And the moment you begin to listen to your inner GPS, you'll start to walk in your authentic light and your authentic power as a loving, powerful, spiritual being. And I know, I know my light attracts everybody. It does. It attracts, it attracts vamp energy vampires. It attracts men who want healing. It attracts men who are looking for a mother. It attracts men who are looking for a savior. It attracts men who are looking for fixers. And here I am looking for a best friend that I can grow with and then we can become lovers. But now I know, now I know, and this is why I do this. Because no, I'm, I already know and I'm waiting for my divine mate. And I already know what that energy is. I don't have to look outside of myself. So, you know, when a man comes and shows his interest, I tell him, like, I'm, I can only be your friend because my heart, my heart is the universe's. My heart belongs to the universe. The universe is my man. And I know that the universe will manifest into a reality. I know that. I believe that. The universe is going to send the universe. <laughs> so I'm not looking for anybody. But this is why I do what I do. If, you, if, you're, if you're in need of healing, if you're in need of, you know, some help, this is what I do. I know now that I need to be friends with the man, who, especially a man that's, that's still trying to heal, that, you know, that's looking for a fixer. No, you can't plug your, you can't plug your, uh, your out, your socket into my outlet. You can't plug that rabbit into my rabbit hole. That's what I used to call it, my son. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm single, I'm abstinent, and I'll continue to remain that way until the universe shows up in my reality. So, you know. And I, I meet a lot of men who have dreams, but they're not actively taking the steps to achieve them because they're waiting for someone to help them. Because they, they still don't have that mindset that, you know, and they haven't tapped into their own true divine identity as a king. They're still viewing the world from the eyes of the little boy who experienced abuse, pain, rejection, and trauma in his youth, and abuse. No, a woman doesn't have a problem with helping a man up. I see a lot of men that say, oh, women don't, women have a problem with helping men up. No, you have to be helping yourself first. You have to already be on that path. And then, yes, we can, I can elevate you. We can grow together. But a lot of men who are not even on their path, they want to try to bring you down because they're not where they want to be. And you, you know, like it's, it's petty. And it's like, I have no problem with helping another person, but I'm not doing it. You know, I'm not doing it to have something more with you. I'm doing it because this is what I'm here to do to help you rise. You know, especially when you get into that position. You know, you help people rise up, but I had to, 
I had to stop allowing certain people my energy because I know how they feel about me. And it's like, I'm, I don't feel the same way about you. Like, I don't. Like, I, I enjoy you as a friend, as a business partner, but it, can, it will not go any further. You know? And, and, and there are some men that are hell-bent on having their way that, you know, they'll continue to try to remain in your life because they're they're still seeing in their mind, oh, I'm going to have her, and it's like no, I, I I'm, my my soul is dedicated to the universe, and if and if the universe does not show up in my reality, I can I'm loving you as a friend because that's what the universe told me to do. That's what the universe told me to do. The universe told me after that last relationship, you need to stop. You need to stop. Because these men are only attracted to your light. And until I send the one that has gone and tapped in and tuned into himself and has buried his own heart in my hands. You are to be their friend. You are to be their guide. You are to be their teacher, their mentor. And so this is why a lot of my relationships didn't work because I was supposed to be that person's friend. And after we have gotten to know each other, I would have knew then, oh no, this is not the one for me. It's not the one for me. But no, here I go, jumping in. Sharing myself sexually. So no, you know. And a lot of men are afraid to be king. They're afraid to step into that divine identity. They will run and run and run. You know, because Stepping into your divine identity requires you to heal some shit. And that shit hurts. Healing hurts. But it, it, it don't last that long if you go ahead and go through it. Stop procrastinating. Stop entertaining distractions. The reason why it took me five years is because I kept on entertaining distractions. Kept on. Not listening. You know? And I can only speak for myself, but you know... I fear I feared my own divine light, my own divine identity, because I was more comfortable in walking in the darkness of the pain and trauma of my past. You know? I did that for the majority of my life. I kept blaming other people for hurting me when it was the result of me ignoring my intuition. Spirit told me, no. <laughs> it was the pain. The pain was a result of me needing to control the outcome of a, of a particular situation. And then once I had it, it was never enough because I wasn't truly satisfied on the inside. No, I am, I am so grateful and, and humbled for all of the beautiful souls that follow me on TikTok and, I, and Instagram. But none of this shit matters. None of it matters without a person I can trust confidently to share my life with. Now, I'm not talking about anyone. I'm talking about the one who truly sees me because they took their time to dig deep within themselves and to recognize their own divine identity and that they are powerful beyond anything that they ever know. I'm talking about the one whose essence and presence I'll gladly choose over my solitude any day. I'm not talking about the ones who profess their undying love, who try to shower me with all these things, acting like they're helping me when really they have an ulterior motive, you know? Not the ones who like and comment and share my posts. I'm talking about the one who speaks to you like you matter. And they conversate with you on and off social media. The one that I can laugh and joke around with because they don't take themselves seriously. I don't take myself seriously. But we both know how to handle our business seriously. 
the one who understands when I need to retreat and go ghost for as long as I need because they know that I'm connecting with myself in spirit so that I can serve in a greater capacity because they also are doing it for themselves. The one who trusts me and they trust that I am who I say I am because they trust themselves deeply. They've already met themselves deeply. They met themselves deeply enough to know that they are in tune with divine energy and spirit. And that energy protects you from hurting the other person. It protect, it's a protector. You don't want to hurt that other person because you love that person so deeply. That's the one who knows that they are a loving, powerful, and spiritual being. No, I love being single and using this time to assist others on their own journey while, I, while I'm still assisting myself because I am a student first and a teacher second. I'm a student first and a coach second. I'm a student first and a mentor second. So when you take these 30 days with me, you're never alone. And I learned right along beside you. I'm doing the work right along beside you. I'm also diving deep to become a, a, a healthier, happier, and more holistic version of myself, a truer version of myself, because we are all constantly evolving. This is not it for me. I'm going to continue to evolve. And that's why I love doing this. That's why I love doing these 30 day, these 30 day coaching journeys. No, when you join that private Facebook group for the 30 day journey of becoming a healthier, a healthier and more confident version of you, I'm walking right beside you doing the work too. And I do a 60 minute live training on the third Friday at 2 p.m. where you get to ask your questions, you get to vent, you get to um, cry, you get to do whatever you want to do there. I'll do a little training and then I'll open it up for Q&A. And then after you do the 30 day journey, if you decide, you know what, I like how I'm feeling now and I'm ready to go deeper. Um, I do have a members only community and what I'm offering you is $110 savings off of that. So for the first two months, your membership fee will be $29 and then for the rest, the remaining of the months of the members only community, you will pay $49 a month. And um, that's where you dive deeper. You dive deeper in that one. So, you know, if you are already um, on, if you are already loving yourself, you know, and but you find yourself a little stuck and you're ready to dive deeper in a supportive members only community, you know, that group focuses on loving yourself deeper in every pillar of your life. So mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, relationally, and financially, we dive deep. And every pillar is two months each. So if you are, if you have already started your journey, but you, you know, you stuck someplace, you can go ahead and register today for that one. And you also will receive a $40 discount off the regular price if you register before April 12th. After April 12th, the price increases to $99 a month for the membership. If you enjoyed learning about the topic that I talked about today, Subscribe to my free monthly self-care newsletter where I provide self-care tips and tools to help you develop a deeper love of yourself, to help you to learn how to take care of yourself properly. You know what? I want to see everybody win. I've, I've always been like that. I want to see everybody win because I know how it has helped my life. Like you don't need to be envious of anybody. You can learn from everybody and, 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 and win in life and love. 
think we've all been through enough abuse that it's time for us to just really step into that power of love. And we've come to the end of the program, and I thank you guys so very much for being here. I really and truly appreciate and love you all. And if you are listening on Anchor, Pocket Cast, uh, Google Podcast, Spotify, uh, Radio Nation, or uh, Breaker, Breaker, please share. Please share if you feel that anyone would get benefit from this. If you are watching on YouTube, I invite you to like, comment. I want to hear from you. I want to respond to you. Share with anyone you think may benefit. Subscribe to the channel and then hit the bell for notifications because there's a new video every day. And so before I let you all go, you know I got to send you out with a prayer of love to the universe. So, universe. Oh, universe, divine God, universal life force source, mother earth, mother nature, energy, life force, prana, chi, my world, my life, my everything. You are my everything. You my everything, 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 everything. You are my everything. You are the air that I breathe, the song that I sing. You are my melody, my symphony, my harmony. God, I love you. I love you so deeply, madly, and passionately. I can remember praying a prayer years ago, saying, God, teach me how to love like you. And I didn't see it then. But I know now that the pain, the betrayal, the cheating, the lies, the, the, the people who use me and abuse me, it was you showing me you asked for it, right? You asked for me to teach you how to love like me. And this is how people treat you. They lie on you. They betray you. They cheat on you. They, they pray. They get what they want. They, they use you. And they abuse your name. They abuse your name. They, they make people believe that you're this tyrant, this evil thing. And you are the most loving, precious. I'll do this world without anybody or anything. Because as long as I have you, I know I have all that I need. And I know that you will put the right things in my path. I trust you. I trust you unequivocally. <laughs> I thank you for being my protector, my provider, my way maker, my shelter in a time of storm, my, my anchor, my light in shining armor. I thank you for being the love of my life. <laughs> my greatest and truest soulmate. Because you are the best friend that I've always wanted. You are the confidant that I can share 
all of my secrets with, all of my shortcomings, and you, you won't judge me. You love me unconditionally. You are the supporter that I've wanted from men and relationships. You support me daily, and you take good care of me. You are the greatest lover. You showed me how to love myself. You are my man. Because when I have no one to turn to, when I have no arms to fall into, it's you. You're there. So yeah, you got me. My heart, my heart belongs to you. Whatever you need, there's nothing I won't do. I said whatever you want, my heart belongs to you. I said whatever you need, I'll be right here for you. I love you. Whatever you need, my heart belongs to you. My heart, my mind, my body, my soul, everything. I'm yours. Whether I live in famine or whether I am feasting, I'm yours. Whether I live in abundance or need, I'm yours. Through the sunshine and rain, I am yours. Whether I am experiencing joy or pain, it's all a part of life, ups and downs, twists and turns. But as long as I'm holding on to you, I'll always make it through. And it is a privilege and an honor to serve others in this space. It's a privilege and an honor to share my story with others. It is a privilege and an honor to display your genuine love. I know people test me because they, they don't believe you. They don't believe you're true. They don't believe it. So yeah, I get it. They're going to try to hurt me. They're going to try to do all this stuff because they don't believe. But I'm the real deal. Go ahead and pick my fruits if you need to. I won't always let you. Because some people just come to take, 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 take and never give anything. But go ahead and pick my fruit if you need to. If it makes you feel better. I am abundantly blessed above all I could ever ask, think, or imagine. And it is a privilege and honor to, to be a blessing to others because I am blessed. Thankful and grateful for another day. So let's rock this day out. Let's get her done. And so be it and so it is. I love you. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you guys for being here with me today. I want you to go out. Have an awesome, amazing, and beautiful day today. From my heart to yours, as always, namaste. If you experienced rejection, abandonment, trauma, or abuse as a child, you may find it difficult to create a healthy, happy, and holistic life. You are not alone. I am Coach Susie, and I am a survivor of addiction and narcissistic domestic violence abuse. I was raised by a mother who experienced narcissistic personality disorder, and I experienced every type of abuse. I was rejected, abandoned, and traumatized before the age of 10. As I grew older, I attracted these same type of relationships into my life because this was my life. It was all I knew, and it was what I was accustomed to until I introduced myself to something different. In 2015, I left a 20 year unhealthy and abusive relationship with a man who struggles with narcissistic personality disorder. And I began a journey into loving myself unconditionally. It took me five years to accomplish living a happy, 
healthy and holistic life and that was primarily due to the lack of financial and educational resources for people like me who were severely traumatized as children and grew up in impoverished neighborhoods. The Loving Yourself Unconditionally movement was created from the mind of a traumatized child who struggled for years with self-doubt and low self-esteem. But I learned to love herself unconditionally beyond past abuse and thrive successfully in life with PTSD, bipolar disorder, and ADHD. I struggled to love myself unconditionally due to the mental and emotional abuse I received as a child. The voices of doubt, fear, and not good enough would constantly haunt me until I began to change my mind. The Loving Yourself Unconditionally movement is a community of people who desire to learn practical and effective ways to love themselves unconditionally beyond abuse. The Loving Yourself Unconditionally movement is not about chasing perfection and trying to be perfect. It's about learning to love yourself unconditionally in every area of your life, no matter what that looks like. It's about becoming the healthiest, happiest, and truest version of yourself, no matter what that looks like. If you are ready to learn how to love yourself unconditionally beyond abuse, pre-register today at suzysuttles.com. Everyone has something to teach us. My question to you is, are you ready to learn?